Guys, welcome back to the channel, Let's Talk Leeds. Hope you're all doing well today. The weather's getting cold. It's that time of year to wrap up, especially underneath uh, the staircase in this small cupboard. It's bloody freezing. But welcome to the five-minute rumour run. I'm um, just going to get through a few uh, rumours that are circulating at the moment, obviously, with the January transfer window around the corner. Um, it sort of heightens up this time of year. Some of them have got some substance. Some of them are just complete waffle. But, yeah, we'll try and uh, dissect that together. Please smash a like on the video, get your comments in at the end and, and subscribe if you haven't already. These things only take a second and it really helps the channel, so I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, let's jump into it. According to a few sources, um, there's going to be as many as five players leaving the Whites in January, either on loan or permanent. Um, so we're just going to sort of rifle through them and give our, I'm going to give my thoughts, really. The first one, which is very disappointing... Uh, but expected Charlie Cresswell. Um, even as it says here in the Yorkshire Evening Post, to date, Cresswell has played in four of 17 championship games, and two of those featured his presence for the very last minute and stoppage time as Farker sought to protect his side from desperate aerial bombardments. Cresswell has only 127 minutes of championship action to his name. For context, by this stage of the season, last season he had 732. So, yeah, looks like. Um, Charlie Cresswell, Charlie Cresswell could be departing, which is, you know, I, I I did expect it, but it's a bit disappointing because um, I had like high hopes for him, like, like a couple of years ago when he made his debut. Was it his debut against West Ham? And he he had Antonio in his back pocket. Okay, Antonio scored at the end of the game, but before that, he he looked like a real promising defender. And then we loaned him out to Millwall, and he was bossing it to begin with. Then it tailed off a bit, but yeah, I, I think for his career, he he does really need to, um, to move on, if I'm being honest. Um, yes. Lewis Bate, if missing out on 14 straight championship match day squads did not say it clearly enough, then Lewis Bate not even getting a kick in the Carabao Cup game at Salford City amplified the message that he is not in the plans. Waffle, waffle, not going to read it all. It looks like um, Lewis Bate's time's up as well if I'm being honest. And again, for his career, he does need to leave. Leo Yelda is another player with no realistic chance of getting back into the senior side at present. He was unconvincing in both of his Carabao Cup appearances, which he was, to be fair, looking shaky defensively in each game. And since being hooked at half-time of the Championship opener, he has yet to earn another league minute. I don't think Daniel Farker trusts him. I don't think Daniel Farker particularly rates him as a player. And I and I, I just think like like the other two, if he's going to have any kind of career, he needs to he needs to move on, you know. Gel go, gel uh, Gelhart. Um, now before I read this, this one is a bit bitter because I I really liked Joe Gelhart a couple of seasons ago, and it just never quite quite happened for him. All the managers we've had, you know, Bielsa, you know, all of them, um, Jesse Marsh. Daniel Farker, even in the championship, you know, he's never really got a good run in the team, never really seemed to have convinced our managers off the field that that he's worth starting and playing. So, um, yeah, it looks like he's moving on. It says a hand injury has kept the young forward out of action lately, but even had the, he been fit, would he have played? Farker has Ruter creating Mary Howe up top, Perot tucked in, even Patrick Bamford off the bench. And, and that's it. We've got so many options now. Um, I just feel like um, Gel Go Gelhart's time at the club is done. And there's a few others in here. Darko JB, Sean McKirk, Chris Clarson. Um, they're all players who it looks like, um, you know, you know that their time has, has run out at Leeds. And for the benefit of the, their career, I think they... Uh, another one that seems to be um, probably staying next season is Jack Harrison. It says here Everton won't be making Jack Harrison's loan move permanent following the Toffees point deduction for breaking financial fair play rules. Sean Dyche's side do not have a mandatory obligation to purchase the winger following the conclusion of his loan to Merseyside Club. But Harrison does reportedly have a release clause that can be activated in January. Well, they're not going to activate that, are they? Um so, with regard to Jack Harrison, um, sorry, it's going to be over the five minutes um, that I promised at the start. So, I've defrauded you of a minute or two. But there we go. It is what it is. Um, Jack Harrison um, 
especially if Everton get relegated, they're not going to buy him. They're not going to trigger his January um, release January release clause. So it looks like he may be staying for the foreseeable future anyway, um, which is, um, you know, I don't know how I feel about that because, um, you know, people call him a rat because he wanted to leave and stuff. But he did give us real good service for five years, even at the highest level in the Prem. He was scoring seven, eight goals. Um out of anyone, out of all the rats who did leave, if there was going to be one that did play for us again, I wouldn't mind it being Jack Harrison personally. That's that's just my um, opinion. And just one incoming, I'm afraid, guys. The only rumour that I've sort of found, and it's been doing the rounds for about a week now, um, Hammerby centre-back, Nathaniel Ajayi, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Ghanaian Youth International, valued at around three million. Um from what I've seen from clips and stuff, he looks good. But of course, you can make anyone look good in a little clip. Um, you know, we've we've got quite good cover in that position in in centre back. So if he did come, uh, it wouldn't be to immediately start, would it? It'd be as a squad player and, and one for the future. So yes, that's it, guys. That's it for the rumor run today. Um, there's nothing else going around. But if when there when there is, um, it'll be it'll be on this channel. So please smash a like, subscribe. And get your comments in. Who would you like to lead to go out and sign in January? Personally, I just want us to get chair from QPR. I think he would be brilliant. And I think he would he would really help help us get promoted. As simple as that, really. But yes, guys, I shall be back again soon.